Hi everyone, this is Roy Yan from Foundry. Today I'm going to show you the differences between three new components, AdMix, KeyMix, and MergeOver, and when to use them. If you go to the toolbar on the left side of Nuke and uh, click on the Merge tab, you'll see AdMix and KeyMix and Merge mode there. First of all, let's take a look at the Merge Over node. If you hit M in the node graph, you'll get an over node right away because over mode is the default mode of merge, which means this is the most popular commonly used merge mode in Nuke. Let's take a look at how over node works. So first of all, my background, which is a checkbook here, connect to the B pipe. And my foreground, which is a color bar, have an alpha channel. It needs to be pre-multiplied. And then I plus these two together with the overnode. As simple as that, very simple process. For the overnode, you can also have a mask input. And you can merge many inputs, such as A2, A3, A4. And I also have an uh, overnode breakdown here. So I have my foreground and background, foreground alpha, background alpha, which is inverted, and uh, both multiplied. And plus them together. And next, let's take a look at AdMix node. Similar to the over node, we have our checkboard as a background pipe into the B input. And we have a foreground, which is a color bar, has an alpha channel in it. The difference in between Amix and Overnode is Amix will pre-multiply all the inputs. So you don't really need to put a pre multiply node here. And Amix does not have any mat input or more than two inputs for comp or merge. If you don't do anything, if you compare the over and the Amix mode, it's exactly the same. If you double click on the Amix node, you'll notice that we have two LUT control table for both A and B input. This makes a big difference in between the Amix and over node. For example, if I go to the A input, and hold on the Control and Alt key and let mouse click on this line. And it will give me a new control point here. I can either move the move point up and down, left and right, or even click on the Control key to move it freely. If you move up, it actually will increase the mix of the A value, A input value into the final result. Basically, these are the soft edge areas of the comp. If you move down, we'll decrease the impact of the A input. So it's the same idea if you do the same operation on the B input. Control out, create a new point. Control, click on this point and move it. You can see now you can play with the mix of the A and B input over the soft edge area. If you don't like the result for now, you can actually on the B channel, click on the reset button to reset it. I also have a breakdown for the add mix here. Let's take a look at it. First of all, you have your foreground, which is a color bar, background checkboard. You have your alpha channel for the foreground, alpha channel for the background, which is the invert from the A. And we have a lookup table here just for the alpha channel. To reproduce what I just did in the admix node, I can just go back to that node and go to the A channel copy the LUT curve.
and then I can go to the A lookup table, go to the alpha, right click, and paste. So after the lock control, as I said, the app mix will prepare multiply all the inputs and add them together as the final result. So let's compare what we just did in the app mix and this breakdown workflow. So it's exactly the same. So how to use app mix? So I have an example here to show you. So since it's uh, very useful for those soft edge areas, I think uh, for visual effects, you can apply to many cases just like smoke, fog, dusk, even fire. So when I do comp fire, and uh, if it is a key result, I do apply a primad or prime any of those key method, and I can just increase those impact uh, by play with those amix in between the foreground and background to get a better result. In this case, I have a background, which is a car running in the snow scene. And uh, if I want to add some snow dust in front of this car, I can just use the Amex here. So first of all, I have my uh, stock footage here, and I do a luminance key to get the key and uh, reformat to the background format. And I can just color correct the color and uh, add them together. So I just have a very straight result here. But if you want to increase or decrease the snow dust effect, you can just go to the A channel, just create, let's say create a point here. Control and uh, you can just play with the result. It will give you a very soft control because it's really a lot lookup table applied to a input. Doesn't really need to have to change your background. So think about this is not the background. This is another element over the background. You can actually adjust uh, the B input as well if you want. So that's the example uh, how you could apply app mix here. In the last time, I'm going to show you the key mix node. For the key mix node, we also here have a checkboard as a background and a color bar as a foreground. So the key mix node, if you double click on a node, you'll notice that we have a mix tab here. We can play with the mix value. The difference is this mix value not only apply to the RGB channel, it also will apply to the alpha channel here. So my background alpha channel is all white, which is one, and my foreground alpha channel is black. And I have a mask here. So if I set my mix value to 0 0.5, If I switch the alpha channel, you will see the result of the mix of the alpha channel. So this is a quite unique process for you to get a mix of key. So you can use that in many cases. Before I show you an example, we're going to show you the key mix breakdown here. First of all, I have input A with an alpha, pre-multiply it, and I input B and merge them together. So this should be the exactly the same result as the over node or the add mix node if you don't do anything by default. But alongside this main string, we also have a mix key effect here. So we will have our look at table basically is taking the mix value from the RGB channel to multiply to the alpha channel here. So if I change my mix value to the same 0 0.5, the alpha channel is also reduced by 50%. In the end, you'll get the same effect as we just did in the key mix node. So I want to show you an example here. 
So key mix is great for mix uh, all different kind of keys because it not only apply to the RGB channel, but apply to the alpha channel as well. So for example, I have a luminance key here for the smoke. And I also have a, a solid circle with a soft edge when I merge them together. So I can uh, apply these two map together and the key mix and uh, uh, use a roto shape to control uh, how they how you want to mix them together. In here, you can actually play with the mix slide. to blend these two keys together a lot better. So it'll give you another layer of control of how you want to mix your key together. So these are the three components, add mix, key mix, and merge over, which I want to talk about today. I hope this video could be helpful, and thanks for watching. Take care.